So, once again, Ezekiel 39 and 23, it's saying, The heathen shall know that the house of Israel, who we are, went into captivity, went, to, went into slavery for their iniquity, for their wickedness, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. We didn't want to listen to him, so he gave us to the hand of, of our enemies. According to their uncleanness, I mean, breaking the dietary laws, sinning against the Most High's rules and regulations, and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them and hid my face from them. See? That's why you see in Hosea 5 and 15, what he's saying, how he hid his face from us for breaking his law, such commandments. So you think he's gonna be shining forth for people that say they don't, they don't, have, they're not under the law, they don't have to follow the Most High? I don't think so. Going back to Deuteronomy 26. Verse 7, and when we cried unto the Most High our power, the power of our fathers, the Most High heard our voice and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. And the Most High brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. And he and he hath brought us into this place, and hath given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. Beautiful land. The land that the Most High love. The land that the Most High love. Y'all realize that? He gave us the land that he loved. And the land is desolate now. Because we are not there. Some imposters are there. But oh, he's going to deliver us. Look at uh, 2 Ezra 5. And verse 14, I mean 24, excuse me. 2 Ezra 5 and 24. And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. See? And that's the land of Israel. That's his land. So, that's that land that floweth with milk and honey. Verse 10. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which thou, O Most High, have given me, and thou shalt set it before the Most High thy power, and worship before the Most High thy power. See? This is uh, dealing with the first fruits and the tithes. It says, And thou shalt rejoice in every good thing which the Most High thy power have given unto thee, and unto thine house, thou, and the Levite, and the strangers that is among you. You know, these strangers are the ones that are the Israelites that are, you know, you don't know. When thou hast made an end of tithing all the tithes of thy increase the third year, which is the year of tithing, and hast given it unto the Levites. Remember, the Levites didn't have any land, so therefore we were obligated to take care of the priests, the Levites, through the tithes. The stranger, the fatherless, this is what, this is what every three years this tithing would go to the Levites, the stranger, now talking about these other nations, talking about the stranger that's of our nation, that's a stranger coming amongst us. The fatherless, those who doesn't have a father, father has died. And the widow, the woman whose husband has died, she becomes a widow, that they may eat within thy gates and be filled. So you see what he's saying. The Levites, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow. 
There's, they're very important to the Most High. Then thou shalt say before the Most High thy power, I have brought away the hollow things out of thy, mine house, and also have given them unto the Levite, and unto the stranger, to the fatherless, and to the widow, according to all thy commandments which thou hast commanded me. I have not transgressed thy commandments, neither have I forgotten them. I have not eaten thereof in my morning, neither have I taken away aught thereof for any unclean use, nor given aught thereof for the dead. But I have hearkened to the voice of the Most High my power, and have done according to all that thou hast commanded me. Being obedient to what he told us to do. Look down from thy holy habitation from heaven, O Most High, and bless thy people Israel and the land which thou hast given us, as thou swear unto our fathers, a land that floweth with milk and honey. See, he said it again. Bless us, asking us, you know, in obedience and doing what we're supposed to do. That the most I can look down from heaven and bless us, the twelve tribes of Israel. Because we're together here, all twelve tribes. Verse 16. This day the most high thy power have commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments, thou, though thou therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Thou hast avouched the Most High this day to be thy power and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice is very important and the Most High have avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people the twelve tribes of Israel to be his peculiar people as he have promised thee and that thou should have keep all his commandments. You hear that? And that we should keep all his commandments, his rules and regulations, and to make thee high above all nations, which he hath made in praise and in name and in honor, and that thou mayest be an holy people unto the most high thy power, as he hath spoken. See? And that's very important that we see this because... The Most High, it tells you in Malachi 3 and 6, I am the Most High, I change not. Also look at uh, Numbers 23 and 19, I believe. Hold that, get Numbers 23 and 19. Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is a, not a man, so he's a man. All you talking about, he's a man and a woman. He say the Most High is not a man. That he should lie. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man. That he should repent. Has he said. And shall he not do it. Or has he spoken. And shall he not make it good. From what we read. So. Going back to Deuteronomy. 26 and 19. And to make thee high above all nations, which he have made. You hear that? So he don't really care about how anybody else feel about other nations. Like we, as a people, always care about someone else. You hear what he said? To make thee high above all nations. High above all nations, which he have made. In praise, and in name, and in honor. And that thou mayest be an holy people unto the most high thy power as he has spoken. That's how he made us. Deuteronomy 27 and 1. And Moses with the elders of Israel commanded the people saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. So all these elders were 51 years old and over. Those are elders. You can read Numbers the fourth chapter. It tells you from... 30 to 50 was a ministry, and the elders started at 51 on up in age. 
So are you that's not 51 years old? You're not an elder. Verse 2. And it shall be on the day when ye shall pass over Jordan unto the land which the most high thy power giveth thee, that thou shalt set thee up great stones and plaster them with plaster, you know, mortar in between. And thou shalt write upon them all the words of this law when thou art passed over, that thou mayest go in unto the land which the most high thy power giveth thee, a land that floweth with milk and honey for the third time. As the most high thy power, the power of thy fathers has promised thee. That was the promise that he gave us. Therefore it shall be, when ye be gone over Jordan, that ye shall set up these stones, which I command you this day, in Mount Ebal, and thou shalt plaster them with plaster. He's telling us to put these stones together. Plaster them. And there sh thou shalt build an altar unto the most high thy power, an altar of stones. Thou shalt not lift up any iron tool upon them. So you couldn't put no iron tool upon this altar of stone. Thou shalt build the altar of the Most High, thy power of whole stones. And thou shalt offer burnt offerings thereon unto the Most High, thy power. We have to build this altar of stones, upon the stones. And thou shalt offer peace offerings, and shalt eat there, and rejoice before the Most High, thy power. Yeah, we had barbecue. Priests would take the part of the animal, the heart, the liver, the bladder, and the parts that that we were in the fat, and he would sacrifice that to the Most High, and the rest of it, we like you say, we would have it to eat. Verse eight, and thou shalt write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. And Moses and the priests and the Levites spake unto all Israel, saying, Take heed and hearken, O Israel. This day thou art become the people of the Most High thy power. See that? This day have we as the twelve tribes of Israel became the people of the Most High thy power. You can't get anybody else in this. He said that day we became the people of the Most High our power. Just a moment.